Okay, so we're going to go ahead and begin with the tutorial on how to go ahead and optimize the flow of not only the blue light mission from your cell phone on iOS, but also how to go and cater it so that you can go ahead and reduce the overall blue light that you get from the software. So the first one uh, is pretty easy to go ahead and set up. We're gonna go ahead and click on the option here. We're gonna go into the settings. And once you go into the settings, you're gonna go ahead and look for night shift. And night shift is essentially the scheduling system that uses a reduction of the blue light that is emitted from the phone. And it's pretty similar to an app called Flux that you can go ahead and run on your laptops or your desktops. And essentially what it does is it goes into the realm of reducing the blue light exposure overall. And we'll pretty much get into that in, in the next video. But the start for this one is going to be making sure that you move this little cursor here all the way to the right side and then that you have the scheduling system checked al along with the scheduling time uh, to be set. So uh, what I have is actually a one minute interval in which it changes um, and that is in, in the afternoon of course um, and I have it set for 12 p.m. and then uh, it's set to go off at 11.59 a.m. So essentially it transitions at noon and it'll stay pretty consistent throughout the day with the warm color. So that's pretty much the general setting that you're gonna be using in Night Shift. The next option that we're gonna go ahead and use is actually going to be within the uh, overall settings of the accessibility and we're gonna go ahead and try the accessibility here, which is going to be general and accessibility. So in the general tab, we're gonna go ahead and look for the contrast and accommodation area. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and make the overall modifications that we need within the software. And the reason we're doing it through the software is because usually you're gonna need a physical block to be able to go and bring these settings up. And we'll wanna go ahead and, and make these modifications accordingly. So if we go ahead and we look here, inside of the display accommodations, the two options that we're gonna be looking for uh, to help with the overall reduction of blue light is going to be the color filter and then also the reduced white point. And the reason that these guys are really important is because they're going to allow you to go and filter the higher amount of the blue light that comes to the screen. It's going to be less stimulating to the overall body, especially your eyes and the front of your face. And that's going to go and help with the melatonin production as you go towards the end of the night. So by using these points, what you'll be able to do then is really set this up so that you can go ahead and have optimized flow and use of your electronics if you need them at night, but without the constant damaging effects of the blue light. So at the end, when you go ahead and, and set these color filters on, what you're gonna go and have then is a triple tap, and then the accessibility shortcuts are going to be able to be there. So the color filters is the first thing that we're gonna go ahead and set up. We're gonna go into the color filters. We're gonna go ahead and tap on the color filters. And then we're gonna go ahead and scroll to the bottom and we're gonna go ahead and have the color tint area checked. And then you're done with that section. And then the next one that's gonna go and actually have a, a good point for you is going to be the reduced white point. And you're gonna go ahead and then have that one checked as well. So, by checking those two, essentially it's gonna cause your screen to go completely almost red. And it's also gonna go ahead and, and darken it. I have it about 69, 70%. Uh, what you'll wanna do is have it as bright as you need it uh, at night. It's gonna be a lot brighter than you think. 
Uh, but for my use, I think 69 is pretty optimal so that I could go in and read without having to go and strain my eyes. And that's really gonna be the setting for that. Now, since the display accommodations are on now, uh, since I have the on switch, the last thing that we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and look down towards the bottom. Accessibility shortcuts. And then we're gonna go ahead and set the two filters that we want to go and be active. And those are the ones that are available at a triple tap. And we'll go ahead and set the color filters and the reduced white point. And then we'll be good to go. And pretty much at the end of it, what's gonna go and happen now is we'll be able then to go back to the home screen, use these points to go in and hit the settings that we want and the reduced blue light is going to be taking effect so that you can go ahead and use your cell phone at night without having much refraction of the overall hormonal balance that you have within your body using software. The next thing, of course, is you could go ahead and use eye filters through anything that essentially will go ahead and reduce the light, uh, something like uh, a filtration uh, sunglass that can go ahead and be overlaid uh, a lot of biohacking sites use that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take a snapshot here of this, and then I'll go ahead and attach it to the bottom of the video, and uh, we'll go ahead and start with the next section. Okay, so we're going to go ahead now and set the overall settings for your flux, and you'll want to go ahead and, and go to uh, get flux dot com and that'll allow you then to install the software of course i'm running a mac you can install this also on pc and also on android phones most of the time and we're going to go ahead and start with the overall preferences that we want to go ahead and have and um the transitions of course that we want to have so the first thing is we're going to go into the options we want to always have a faster transition on on this overall so that with the fast transitions, there's no real delay. The second one is going to be the color effects. You're going to want to have the dark theme at sunset. And what that does is it's going to allow then for the toolbar on the Mac to actually go dark. And that is going to go ahead and optimize the way that you interact with your computer at night if you have to go and do computer work at night. The next one is going to be custom colors. Um, Oftentimes what they have is they have recommended colors and that will go ahead and, and bring your computer into a certain optimized area using your IP and you may or may not be able to go and see that this is calibrating for where I am currently in the world and my screen has gotten much brighter. But if I go ahead and I adjust with the custom area here, I'm going to go ahead now and drop all of the overall daytime settings, sunset settings, and bedtime, it's essentially going to be uh, a, the darkest version that's going to be tolerable, not only to the eye, but also going to be optimized so that you can go ahead and get to sleep if you work at the computer at night. And then really what you're going to do is you're going to be clicking on done, and you'll be good to go from there. And uh, your computer then will go ahead and adjust accordingly um, to the schedule, you can see that it's already tracking the time that it is now. And then once it goes and reaches that point, it'll automatically go ahead and set the overall standard for the app to go ahead and run. So nothing overly complicated there. Uh, and then you'll be able to enjoy the computer screen, even if you have to go work at night and actually get some rest uh, when you do. So that's it for now. I'll go ahead and uh, export this video, and I will see you in the next video.